In a previous video on the Query Wizard, we ran through an introduction and overview on how to use the tool and how to find the table and field names in the system that we want to use when generating our ad hoc reports. Visit our channel and hit the subscribe button so you get all of our latest content and check out our first video on how to use the Query Wizard. For this video, we are going to focus on a query example that goes slightly more in depth. Let's open the Query Wizard by going to Tools, Queries, and Query Wizard. We will start by adding in the tables we want to retrieve the data from. In this case, we're going to be pulling data from our business partner master records and our AR invoices. The fields I want to see from our business partner table are the business partner code and the business partner name. And from the AR invoices table, I want to see the document total. Let's run this query to look at all the data. When I double click the header to perform a quick sort by the business partner code, you will notice that we have many lines for each business partner. That is because we are retrieving the document total for each AR invoice in the system. For this example, I want to see the sum total for all AR invoices broken out by each business partner. In order to do this, we need to add some information into the query wizard that will sum all the invoices and group the data by the business partner. Let's go back to step three of the query wizard. I mentioned I want to see a sum of all the document total data rather than having one line for each document total in our query. We can do this by using the comp column on our document total field. You'll notice we have a few computation choices. To sum the data, we want to use the amount option. We can't stop there. We also have to group the data by the business partner. To do this, we can use the group yes no column and select yes for both the BP code and the BP name fields. We have to do this for both or the query will not run. Let's execute our query again to see what the data looks like now. Notice how we now have one line per business partner and each line displays the sum of all AR invoice document totals for that business partner. Right now, the data is sorted alphanumerically by the business partner code by default. I want this query to automatically sort the data by the document total, with the highest sum at the top descending to the lowest at the bottom. I also want to refine the data by a date range each time I run the query. Let's look at how we can easily do this using the query wizard. Back at step three, all I have to do is tell the query wizard I want to sort the order of the data first by the document total, and to do so in descending fashion. Now I can go to step four and build my date range conditions. I don't want to lock in a specific date range into the query, but instead I want the ability to define a date range each time I execute the query. To do this, choose the AR invoice table, select the posting date field, and assign the condition as greater or equal for the bottom of the range. Then in the field value column, type in a variable in brackets like so. You can use percent zero for the first variable. Then select the AND clause, and now right click on line one and add a new row. Do the same thing as the first line, but choose smaller or equal to define the top of your range, and assign a unique number for your second variable, like percent one. Each subsequent variable should have its own unique number. Now when we execute our query, we can define our dates so that we will only see a sum of all invoice document totals grouped by each business partner for a given posting date range. You can see that our results are also sorted by document total in descending order. As a final step, when you have finished building your query using the query wizard, expand the box that contains the SQL script and click the pencil icon to put the script into edit mode. You can then sort out the script how you like to make the query easier to read like I have done here. Now we want to go to the table references under the from section. At each new table reference, add the syntax with no lock like so. This should be done whenever a new table is referenced so that any other operation in the database that references the same table is not impeded when you are executing the query. You can re-execute the query to ensure that it works properly. When you are completely finished, click the Save button to save the query in the Query Manager. Simply assign a name and a category and click Save. 
And now you can execute your query from the Query Manager whenever you need it. The Query Wizard is one among many tools that come with SAP Business One, and as an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI knows how to help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. Visit our website at www.lbsi.com and click the contact link to get in touch with us. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or sap support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance. <laughs>